Hello and welcome to this Grunt tutorial where we shall be creating a basic plugin. Uh, the tutorial shall be basically going over just the most simplest of uh, plugins because if we were to um, create an advanced plugin that would be a whole tutorial series in itself. So um, we don't really want to be doing that. Um, so yeah, anyway, just let's let's just get on with this and uh, I'll show you how it's done. So basically, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a new folder. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead, open up Finder, htdocs, um, grunt plugin. So now we have the grunt plugin. I've got terminal open as well. Um, what we can do is let me just cd into this quickly. Ain't nobody around. Ah, it's a shame. Why did I do that? It's, I need to get better at using uh, this item. The shortcuts seem to have changed. Anyhow, um, so now we're in that particular folder. We can install Grunt as we have previously. Installing Grunt globally. Let's make sure that's right. Grunt npm. I have to do sudo because my uh, system always whinges. Actually, that was my old one. Let me try this new one. Hopefully, this works. Right, so Grunt's installed. Um, let's install a Grunt template, which uh, is basically just the uh, plugin. I'll leave this in the description. You can also go to gruntjs.com forward slash creating hyphen plugins and you'll get this information. I'm just kind of paraphrasing um, everything on there. So we've cloned that repository um, and it's cloned it to a location I didn't want, but nevertheless, um, do -do 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 so let's go ahead and run sudo npm it says you're meant to do this in a an empty directory but let's try it in here grunt plugin this has to create one of my files and can it personal name most question answer project name tutorial the best yes it's amazing for the description Project repository, yeah, we don't really want to set that. Project homepage, we could just do to get my issue tracker license. That'll do. Just keep click enter on these, and it should give the default ones. What version does Grunt require? Does it run? Do you make any changes? No. Right, so that's the plugin uh, created, I guess. Right into git ignore, um, initializing from template. Grunt plugin you should now install project dependencies with npm install. After that, you can execute. So basically, I think we had to install the um, dependencies. I don't know why on gruntjs it's telling us to do that, like for step one. Um, again, I'll leave the link in the description for that, but I'm not quite sure why it's told me to do that pre well prior to well installing the uh, well creating the plugin um, so we've run grunt in it um, initialized grunt plugin in empty directory and now it's telling me to run sudo npm install we've kind of already done this oh no we're just installing um, we're going back to the node package manager uh, so I guess we had some stuff in there Offer your plugin. Let's see. Um, sudo npm publish. Ah, okay, we need um, email required for publishing. You need to authorize this machine. Yes, yes, yes. So um, I'm not actually going to publish this plugin because it's not. It's rubbish. Uh, this particular plugin. There's nothing in there. But this is how you create a plugin. Um, it's kind of very basic. This tutorial. Um, I kind of would have liked to create a well create a plugin that was useful but again like I said that's kind of a tutorial series in itself and um, I don't think you guys would want to see that 
uh, because it would be a plugin that would only really be useful to me and I guess a few other people uh, if I did release it but make sure when you're actually creating your plugin I'm not quite sure if you've got to do the the initialize but go ahead and um, do that um, I'll show you basically what I've been following uh, these steps here because it's very simple this is what I was saying I, I did this and it installs um, the dependencies I believe I believe that installed the node modules um, and then down here it's telling me to run initialize grunt plugin in, a, in an empty directory um, but I did actually run it in this directory what was full of this stuff uh, well these files and folders and it seemed to uh, seem to work so don't listen to that I guess um, quite ambiguous, ambiguous this particular um, page uh, these instructions even uh, that's kind of it but yeah go ahead and install this there's a bunch of information uh, that you can find on creating plugins whether they're basic or advanced but this is basically just uh, creating a basic plugin I didn't publish it because no one wants to publish a blank plugin um, but yeah to publish it you've got to have your authentication for your email and all this other information anyways that's kind of it for this tutorial it was very basic um, hopefully it helped it, I, don't, I don't really think it would help that much but I kind of wanted to get all the grunt tutorials um, I don't know, in, a line, in line with each other so I've covered everything on the gruntjs.com website um, so yeah um, if anyone actually does create a plugin um, go ahead and tweet me at Carl Hardwin I'd like to see what you uh, created there's a huge bunch of um, grunt plugins that are really useful uh, so I guess it's kind of hard to um, add to that uh, but I'm sure someone can um, yeah, tweet me if you do um, create a plugin, I wouldn't mind uh, having a look at it, and uh, hopefully this helped, don't know if it did, um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be the last one, and that should be supercharging your grunt file, which is next. Thanks for sticking throughout these, well, this particular tutorial series, um, hope you enjoyed them, and I'll see you in the next and the last one, which will be coming up shortly after this. Um, I'm rambling, goodbye.